Handball is a game. It's like football however. Use hands. His movements are throwing and swinging. The sport was created in Denmark in 1898 as a means of entertainment and strength and brotherhood around the nearest area because the internet doesn't exist yet and it's growing fast when the world of information technology has become global Denmark this is an ancient castle built in the middle ages 700 years ago there is a slight renovation inside the building namely on the stairs with a modern design of course so that visitors can enjoy the atmosphere from the top of the tower the following is a recipe for how to process danish style meat prepare 1 pound ground beef 2 eggs pepper salt onion milk flour with a measure to taste mix everything together mix well form dough and bake for 30 minutes until meat is browned and the menu is ready to be served you can add tomato sauce or shrimp paste paste which is also delicious for viewer good luck in denmark this is an annual routine similar to the one in indonesia looks like a long time ago during the colonial era the colonials introduced the activity it seems because it is impossible for denmark to imitate from indonesia in addition denmark is also close to the netherlands maybe the dutch brought the danish too during the invasion of indonesia long ago other cultural influences also exist such as dutch musical instruments named ukulele which is a small guitar with kerong kong music During the Second World War, Germany planted 2 million mines. On the west coast of the Danish coast, the story is when the Denmarks took the hostage. Dozens of German teenagers as his captives. They are trained to defuse mines. As many as 45,000 on one beach. The teenager risked his life hoping to be released. If it manages to clear all the mines, they are being watched by Danish sergeants. German teenagers are forced to defuse six mines every day. Some of them even had to die because they accidentally stepped on or damaged mine components which then made them explode. Sergeant Rasmussen who was initially rude began to feel sorry for the teenagers who were not supposed to suffer and become victims of war in the location they live in there is also a small family consisting of a mother and a little girl who are still innocent and kind in the end after all the mines on the west coast had been cleared the german teenagers were then released by the sergeant has just sabotaged by Yahya pass to opposing players yeah maneuver immediately kicked but was pushed aside by the goalkeeper the ball bounced just taken by Abdur and goals you are score 1-0 for the arab teams in the second round Ruina beat to look violation is committed has beat again to look just sabotage by Osama 
and the match ended viewer, the score 1-0 was won by the Arab team. This is a typical traditional house in Denmark in ancient times. The roof is made of thatch and a lot of seaweed. In that area, Lays Island, there is minimal wood raw material. Because the wood is used up to make industrial salt furnaces, so that the roof of the house does not use wood. Seaweed roof contains salt water, so there is no decay and it is also durable for hundreds of thousands of years. Figure 1, this is a tunneling activity in 1842. History of making underground tunnels for the first time in the world, with equipment that is still manual. Figure 2, in principle they make a well first, then after reaching the desired depth, they begin to make a tunnel in the horizontal direction. Pictures 3 and 4, they built a tall tower, to measure the path that will be made the tunnel. Figure 5, cured light, to measure the surface to be tunneled, this equipment is still not modern. Picture 6, the rest of the tower remains as proof. Figure 7, illustration when measuring with cured light through the tower. Figure 8, each wellbore, above it is made a tool for logistics transportation from top to bottom and vice versa. Figure 9, rails for transporting unused excavated material, or transporting material from underground to outside the surface. Figure 10, conveyance equipment for transportation from top to bottom, and vice versa. Figure 11, the logistics transportation process uses horsepower, because horses are stronger than humans to pull loads. Figure 12, a tool for measuring the precision of the depth and width of the excavation. Figure 13, excavation is carried out manually, and the material that has been excavated is transported using a cart wire rail that has been built as well. Picture 14, mine workers doing the casting, still using wood and bricks at that time. Figure 15, the excavation process is like that, after being excavated, the material is transported outside, then the results of the excavation are given wooden boats to support and bricks for casting in the walls of the hole. Picture 16, evidence of an ancient subway tunnel figure 17, laying bricks when the excavation is complete. Picture 18, mine worker illustration figure 19, in 1870, along with technological advances, the air compressor machine was created. Figure 20, an overview of the tunnel portal which is still being made. Figure 21, the doom building, as ventilation, and can also send logistics from above, is built at every specified distance. Pictures 22, 23 and 24, traces of ancient tunnel remains, which still use bricks. Figure 25 shows the finished tunnel, and some finishing will be done. Wow! A very good presentation, thank you sister, and we also thank you for the arrival of the President of Ukraine in our podcast program this time. Viewers all over the world, our sister city Hawa has presented our podcast this time from session 1 to 8, and the next session, which is an explanation of the Higgs boson, will be presented by the President of Ukraine. Please President of Ukraine, time and place we welcome. On special relativity, we derive the formula that E equals gamma mc squared. Gamma is the effectively the Lorentz transform. It's 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, where v is the velocity of the observer. Now what this suggests is that when m is zero, the energy would be zero. And for a photon, for example, which is massless, you would expect all photons to have zero energy. But we know that photons have energy. Einstein said that energy comes in packets consisting of the Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency of the wave of which the photon is a part. But how can a, way, a photon have an energy if its mass is zero? Because this formula would tend to suggest that energy is also zero. And the answer is that if and only if the particle is traveling at the speed of light, which means that V is also C, this term becomes zero and 1 divided by 0 becomes infinity and then the energy equals gamma which is infinity times mass which is 0 times c squared and that is mathematically undefined infinity times 0 is not defined but it isn't 0 and that's how a massless particle can have energy it must travel at the speed of light well 
Thanks for the explanation, that means an object that actually has mass or weight or weight or strength a little, will produce a large amount of energy if the object has the speed of light. Meaning, along with high speed, the energy generated will be even greater. This working principle is applied to the bullet working system, for example, if there is a human who has the greatest strength and speed in today's modern world, then that person throws a bullet at an object, then it is like he is throwing stones, aka nonsense. But if the bullet travels at high speed with the help of gunpowder and hammer piston, then the bullet will destroy, especially if the bullet is shot at the speed of light, then goodbye. Okay President of Ukraine, you have explained the working principle of energy and speed. I'm sorry anytime the answer. Viewers all over the world, we have arrived at the end of our event this time, thank you very much for your willingness to watch this event, don't forget to put criticism and suggestions in the comments, for theory about fiber optics, you can download it in the video description below this. We who are on duty, representing the entire crew of our HBAGSE talk show podcast this time, say thank you very much. We will meet again next week, see you, bye bye.